Dude, have you seen that clown at McDonald's that hides from gay people? No. Of course you haven't. Screw you. <laughs> I actually fell for that one once <laughs> quite a while back, so it's a pretty old joke. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash suddenly gay. Let's get into it. I use dude as a gender neutral term. Everyone is my dude, even women. So you bang dudes? Yes. <laughs> oh, I guess that does make you gay. <laughs> Bro, me and Jessica just broke up. What? Why? We fought last night about me drinking with you lately. So she let me choose. Love or my friends? Oh, so you mean to say you choose friends over love? No, man. I choose love. I love you, bro. <laughs> oh, I guess on the real, though, if she was to actually give an ultimatum, I'd probably go with my friends. My grandfather, USSR. Okay, pretty good looking dude. My name is Michael, and I used to think I was straight. <laughs> I guess not anymore. Now taking girlfriend applications. It's 2020, Carson. Take boyfriend applications too. Raj, please get out of my replies with your smoking hot bod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody is born gay. Joe Exotic decides you're going to be his husband, and that's when you become gay. <laughs> oh, for anybody that hasn't seen Joe Exotic yet, I'm warning you. If you want to stay straight, don't watch him. Because I watched him, and now... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> when Sam gets older, I teach him about sports and stuff. And you're in charge of Izzy's emotional crap. We agreed. That's how we'd raise our kids. Our kids? Turk, we're not married. Dude, we're a little married. I know. I love it. <laughs> oh, let's just be honest. We're all a little bit married to one of our bros, whether we acknowledge it or not. <laughs> Hello, Queen. How are you? Hello, Hossein. I'm fantastic. How about you? I'm good. Thanks, Queen. You are very nice. Why? Thank you, Hossein. May I inform you that I am a male and have a penis? <laughs> I know. Sorry. You are so cute. Okay. Where are you from, King? <laughs> oh, that's a nice way to play it off. What's the best thing that's happened to you in truth or dare? In high school, I was dared to play gay chicken, which is where two straight guys pretend to be gay and the first one to chicken out loses. The other guy and I are both really stubborn and neither one of us wanted to lose. We've been married 14 years and we run a bed and breakfast in Vermont with our adopted daughter. If that dude doesn't chicken out soon, I'm going to start to suspect that he's actually gay. Not the answer we expected, but the answer we needed. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was actually a true story? <laughs> These dudes were really just that stubborn. <laughs> oh, that would make it so much better. Girls, I watched The Witcher for the plot. The plot. <laughs> when I watch The Witcher with my girlfriend, she tends to go to bathroom within a minute of Cavill appearing on the screen. She takes quite some time there. I don't know what she's doing inside, but anyway, it gives me enough time to fap one out. <laughs> oh, I guess the dude's good looking, but uh, I can honestly say I'm not going to fap one out to him. Not my style. What, bro? I have paint on my face? Oh, gosh, I didn't realize. Could you maybe brush it off with the pad of your thumb, bro? Like, could you rest your hand on my jaw and just get it for me, dude? Maybe we could exchange a soft smile at the same time, my guy? <laughs> please? Oh, <laughs> uh, the sincere please at the end. <laughs> what are some ways to spice up your sex life? masturbate in front of each other and see who can finish first the winner gets to help the other reach the finish line my boyfriend doesn't like the idea of me masturbating in front of him for some reason size envy can be debilitating <laughs> oh that's that's a clever one right there because you're implying 
that it's a boyfriend. Oh, I get it. <laughs> My girlfriend put makeup on me for Halloween, and I had a guy at the bar yell at me, your makeup looks good AF, bro. You killed it. Now I understand how girls feel when other girls do the same to them. It was incredible. I felt so freaking beautiful. Then he tried to finger me. <laughs> Oh, but was he successful is the true question. I think he might have been if you haven't been complimented in a while. <laughs> I can get a double cheeseburger, so why can't I get a double hot dog? I've developed a design for an extra wide bun that can accommodate two frankfurters at once. Higher meat to bread ratio, more surface area for mustard and relish. The world is ready. The time has come. <laughs> Oh, this actually probably would be pretty good without the mustard and relish. I know, you guys are going to hate me, but I'm a ketchup guy. <laughs> I don't believe this. We've been robbed. Wait, wait, wait. What if they're still here? You guys stay here and we'll go check it out. Hey, honey, I'm home from the Kung Fu studio. Yeah, and I'm home from gun practice. Good. Now they think we're a super violent gay couple. <laughs> Oh, I guess we know which one's on top. <laughs> One time, a girl asked me to send her a jerk-off video. So I was like, I right. and I sent it. And she was like, oh my god, I meant of you jacking off, not you jacking someone else off. Me and my homie were so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> hey, bro, could you help me out just real quick? And you know what? You'll probably even like it. I'm gonna jack you off, bro. My girlfriend wants to see that. Oh. <laughs> it's really just romance. I'm just tired of the word bromance. Let's just call it like it is. A straight up romance. Between me and Jake? Oh, it's full on in love. We're getting married. Where is he? Where's my husband? <laughs> oh, I love bits like this overheard phone conversation and you had sex how many times hmm yeah that's not technically a bromance <laughs> no me and my bros have sex all the time what is it then oh just a relationship am i gay no <laughs> people who post not safe for work pics on reddit have you been approached by a fan if so how did it go i posted a gif of my round man butt jiggling on reddit about eight years ago it ended up being used in some porno ads blissfully unaware it was a man's butt gonna need to see that gif homie <laughs> you know you might have already seen it and you just didn't know it <laughs> we could all just be suddenly gay and not even know it priest hangs up the phone after talking to his boss for over an hour Okay, that took a lot of convincing, but I managed to talk him round. Yes, you can marry a penguin. Me? Oh my god, he'll be so pleased. Priest, wait, did you just say he? Me, yes. Priest picks up phone again. <laughs> I once dated a woman with a twin. I don't know why, but they got it in their mind that they'd switch places, so I'd end up having sex unknowingly with her twin. So one night, I'm already in bed, and she turns out the light to make it harder for me to realize their trick, and makes up some last second excuse to leave the room. A minute or two later, I hear what I assumed was her coming back into the room and climbing in by bed beside me. I'm horny AF, and slid over next to my bedmate, and we start making out. We ended up having some mind-blowing sex. It was incredible. I've never gotten such passion from my girlfriend. At some point in the night, they'd switch back. So when I woke up, my girlfriend smiled at me and asked me if I enjoyed our sex. I explained to her I'd been on to them the whole time and that I knew it wasn't her from the very start. She looked at me shocked and asked how I'd known. I said, your hands are smaller than his. <laughs> Oh, I guess a dude might just know how to work it a little bit better than a chick. Oh, doesn't mean you're not gay, though. 
All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash suddenly gay. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.